In this wedge, what would you like to hear a rap about? Asparagus. Okay, asparagus is a food, and... <laughs> but that's okay. Hey, it's late, we're not all paying attention. Luckily, before this person said asparagus, a quiet voice at the back said, Pope Mobile, which... Was, who was that who said that? He's on that side, he's on that side. Well, oh, was he? Oh, I'm sorry, it's... Uh, well, sorry, fuck your suggestion, mate. I... You got ratted out over there, someone like, nope. If we're going to do it, we're going to do it properly, Chris. <laughs> Pope Mobile's a good suggestion, but it's not from that section. Yes. <laughs> Abbey Road feels like a very British-based heckle, just like, he's from there, I'll say it. Okay. <laughs> Abbey Road, that's a very, very valid suggestion. I like that suggestion. Abbey Road, thank you very much. Sorry, Asparagus, and thank you very much for keeping our community safe over there. <laughs> really, we can't have this. And hey, I like Pope Mobile as a suggestion, but, you know, to be fair, you did transgress. So, <laughs> Abbey Road from over there. I'm going to come to you guys. Not you guys. You guys over here. What? Yeah, you put, you put, did you have a suggestion? Hound's Tooth Clothing? Clothing? My gosh, you, you were shouting at Maranzio, weren't you? And I was like, she's very drunk. Uh, she's probably going to suggest something. And you know what? I was not expecting Hound's Tooth Clothing. <laughs> That was great. That's a great suggestion. Houndstooth clothing. If you're not familiar, it's that clothing which has the houndstooth pattern, which I'm very familiar with. So, houndstooth clothing, Abbey Road. We'll come to the back of the room. Back of the room, what would you like a rap about? Well, you're not at the back of the room, are you? So, what was... Wait, wait. Okay, the Pope Mobile is creeping back in. It was like, it's my time to shine. Uh, because there's a lot of shouting at the same time, it's hard to pick one. So um, let's try and go one at a time. What were they? Malar? Isn't that a very offensive term? I'm, I mean, I don't know who Sam is, and I don't really care. Um, people like suggesting birthdays. They're like, oh, it's my special moment. But then for that bit of the rap, everyone else in here is like, I hate Sam. I hate Sam so much. Um... Okay, an aggressive man saying, yeah, baby, is a pretty good suggestion. And I, I hope that that was Sam who said that. Okay. So, houndstooth clothing, Abbey Road, a terrifying, yeah, baby. Because it's not like the Austin Powers voice that you did it in. It was like a, please don't come after me at home. Uh, okay, middle of the room, you guys here. This includes the front. I'm going to divide you up into left and right. Left hand side, what's the right going to be about? Rainbows and Leprechauns is, again, very stereotypical towards the Irish people, and then uh, I don't like that. What did you say? Cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance. That is um, holding two conflicting ideas in your head at the same time, is that right? Yes. Yeah, okay, cool. No one likes that suggestion either. <laughs> but it's uh, valid. Okay, cool. Uh, guys over here. So far, the suggestions have been of variable quality. I'm hoping that you guys can really nail it with this. What's it going to be? I feel, I feel, again, so that came from this side, but you did say schmegma, which was also, it is not pronounced with an SH usually, but it came at the same time as someone who said Sherlock Holmes. And so I feel like you kind of teamed up like, uh, like Sherlock and Watson and were like, if we say Sherlock Holmes and Schmegma, he's going to take the suggestion, Sherlock Holmes is Schmegma. And yes, I am. <laughs> Jesus. I apologise for these suggestions, but on your own heads be it. This, lovely people of the Comedy and Magic Club, it's going to be a freestyle rap. As I said, a rap made up on the spot based in tallying those suggestions. The suggestions, once more, for your delectation and reminder are... Cognitive Dissonance, Houndstooth Clothing, Abbey Road, Sherlock Holmes, Schmegma, and a scary man saying, yeah, baby. And <laughs> don't worry, it won't be anywhere near as atrociously, embarrassingly bad as you're expecting a privately educated middle-class white boy to be. <laughs> Let's drop that beat, good sir. Let's have some fun. Chug it. <laughs> don't say chug it, mate. It's, uh, it's alcohol-free as well. 
a British accent Who would have thunk it, trying to get me binge drinking Man shouting out, chug it, knock it back Lift the tip of the glass, I'm so high now I'm more a wise than a sober guy But I arrive at my destination, how do you feel? I was carried here, not in the Pope Mobile Because you got snitched out, yeah, on you got told I walked here on a zebra crossing Abbey Road See four guys, their heights are not equal George Ringo, John Paul of the Beatles Standing there on the pedestrian crossing If you're in London, you will be tossing all the V's At the people who take the photos Cause the tourists hold up the traffic slow Down it goes outside the Abbey Road Studios They actually renovated them Yeah, yo, you can visit there Maybe cut a brand new track Let me put a little thought in my head to the back Cognitive dissonance, I'll say it again It's like a combat in your brain It's hard to intend and engage those things Since I was born, I had an admiration for the leprechauns And it's not dissonant to put them with the rainbow But if you are Irish, it's painful and shameful To look at those guys on the island And say they're all small green men with gold in their hand Yeah, I'm moving and I'm saying it I'm like Sherlock Holmes, I'm displaying it A hound's tooth pattern on my cap, dear stalker Walking down on Baker Street, you know I ought to look at Haberdasher in the window I see a nice bit of fabric I say bro, Watson come in and what's on display I take a bit of houndstooth and I walk away but now Sherlock is the criminal, he wears houndstooth much better than all of y'all it's better than pinstripes or any other fabric, if I see a satin houndstooth I have it, I store right up there in my attic if I saw a man in the dark I'd never attack it unless he came up to me a lady in the situation said yeah baby i run away and maybe stab him in the face i'm reaching in my handbag pulling out me spraying it why are you saying it to me i'm not an infant he tries to hide but i get him right in front of his eyes yeah this is a quiz you should only say that in maternity ward when you're positive yeah baby get the link i see an infant is born out and it's still linked to its mother by an umbilical cord if you see sherlock in the bedroom be assured that he keeps his foreskin mighty clean He's got a toothbrush there He's proud and preening in front of the mirror He's really, really clever High IQ Sherlock Holmes just playing no smegma He pulls the foreskin, retracts it back Has a little scrub, has a little scratch And none in there We all agree it's more preferable When there's no dick cheese I don't want that That's my wish But one problem if there's smegma when you piss If it smells bad, kicking up a lot of fun is it Smegma or is it because you recently ate asparagus? Thank you very much for watching. Please watch more with playlists here. Subscribe here. Like, comment, all those things. Shouting. Bye.